Hey guys, me here. Today I come to you with another spring inspired hair tutorial. So this hairstyle is actually a combination of a rope twist and a four strand braid. And later on in the video, I'll show you how to achieve these curls using the Numi Curl Jam. So without further ado, let's begin. Since we will be using hot tools, you want to apply heat protectant all over your hair and brush it out to distribute the product. Next, pick up a small chunk of hair and divide it into two equal sections. To create the rope braid, you want to take the bottom strand, place it over the top, and twist it downward. Then repeat, so take the bottom strand, place it over the top, and twist it downward. And it's important that you twist it downward because if you twist it upward, it's just going to unravel. Continue this braid all the way down and tie it off at neck length. When you're done, you should have something that looks like this and now it's time to move on to the four strand braid. So for the four strand braid, you want to pick up a strand of hair above the rope twist and two strands of hair right below it. To make this tutorial easier, I'm going to label the first strand the top and the fourth strand the bottom and these are the only two strands that are going to move. Starting at the bottom, you're going to weave it under and over. Next, take the top strand and place it over and under. Now go back to the bottom, place it under and over. And the top goes over and under. So just remember that it's under and over. Then on the opposite side, it goes over and under. So under over, over, under. And just repeat these steps until you reach the end of the rope twist. Tie it off with an elastic band and then go back to the braid and gently tug on the outer edge so that you get these pretty little loops. This braid is very similar to the four strand slide up braid but it's less frizzy because you don't have to bunch it up. After one side is done, you want to do the exact same thing on the opposite side and when you have two braids, you want to bring them together at the back of your head and tie them with an elastic band. You can certainly leave your hairstyle like this but I'm going to accessorize with a flower clip and add some curls to my hair. Today I'm going to use my Numi Curl Jam and this is their newest packaging. It now comes in a cute carrying case which is great for people who want to take it on the go. And also, I'm giving one of these away so if you want to win one, don't forget to read the video description where I'll place all the giveaway rules. So inside the case, you get a heat protectant glove and this is something that you should really wear if you're new to curling your hair with a curling wand because you can accidentally burn yourself. Inside, you get the Numi 3-in-1 Curling One, which comes with a 32mm, a 25mm, as well as a 19mm attachment barrel, and you also get a flat iron. Here I'm using the 25mm attachment barrel, and I'm just going to wrap my hair around it, hold it there for 10 seconds, and release it in the palm of my hand. Doing this will allow the curls to cool off a bit, and it will also keep its shape. When the curl is done, you want to move it to the back, and continue with the rest of your hair. As I mentioned earlier, this set comes with a flat iron and three curling wands, so you get the best of both worlds. They're also made from turmalin infused ceramic barrels, so you get even heat distribution and your curls are left shiny and soft. Now this set doesn't have an adjustable heat setting, so the temperature goes all the way up to 410 degrees Fahrenheit. For that reason, I highly recommend that you use a heat protectant spray and wear the heat resistant glove because it can get really hot. Now that spring is officially here, Numi is having their sale again, so everything on their site is 40% off plus free shipping with the code PINKSUGAR, or you can use the code Cookie Dough to get any of the sets for $99. So if you're interested in any of these offers, I'll put links and discount codes in the video description below. Here's the completed look. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, and if you ever recreate it, don't forget to tag me on Instagram and Twitter so I can check out your pictures. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye! Subscribe to my channel to be notified of new videos, and don't forget to check out my previous tutorials.